This is Patrice Wendling with Global Medical News Network reporting from an American Academy of Clinical Psychiatrists meeting on bipolar disorder and ADHD. I'm speaking with Dr. Nasir Ghami of Tufts Medical Center who challenged physicians here this morning to rethink their use of stimulants in bipolar disorder because of concerns they may be harmful. Could you elaborate, Doctor, on your concerns and your recent study in adults with bipolar disorder? Yes, uh, we did a study with uh, adults who have bipolar disorder and were also diagnosed with adult ADHD and treated with amphetamine stimulants, including methylphenidate. And what we found was that um, about 40% of the patients developed acute mania by history in relation to the amphetamine stimulant use. And this is more than previous studies had suggested, which tended to be around 20%. But our study is the largest so far in adult ADHD and bipolar disorder. And even though it's observational, so it's only early evidence, it's suggested that there may be some notable risks here. You also described concerns regarding neurological effects of early amphetamine use in animals. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, I reviewed studies in rats especially. Uh, numerous studies have shown in animals that um, amphetamines, including methylphenidate, which is the most commonly used drug in humans, uh, cause neurobiological harm in the brain, especially the developing brain, the younger animals. Uh, among the things that happen is a uh, atrophy of certain parts of the brain. Certain neurons die in the hippocampal area, which is the part that involves memory, as well as some abnormal responses in some of the dopamine systems and uh, overactive steroid response, and even increases in animal models of depression and anxiety. So that the animal studies, studies suggest that these amphetamines can be harmful, to the brain and they actually cause more anxiety and depression in the long run. We don't have studies in monkeys, which would be closer to humans, or in humans, obviously. Um, and a lot of people have downplayed these animal studies because they're not in humans, but my uh, view would be the reverse. I think that we should downplay uh, using these drugs extensively in humans given the risks that exist in animals until we can have some human studies that would show either that the drugs are safe or confirm the findings in the animals. How revolutionary is this premise of amphetamine-related worsening of bipolar? Well, it's certainly not the mainstream view. Although these animal studies are published in mainstream journals, uh, mostly read by basic scientists, it never has made it to the world of clinical practice. Clinicians, I think, have had a general feeling that the amphetamines are safe, partly because the drugs have been used by clinicians for many decades. But um, this use of the drugs with the assumption that they're safe is not supported now by this biological research. And um, my view is that clinicians should therefore become more cautious. But I know that the mainstream view is either because they're unaware of these data or even if they are aware of these data, they would uh, downplay them because they are in animals. Um, many people, the majority of people uh, practicing psychiatry tend to use stimulants without as much concern as I'm suggesting we should have. This is Patrice Wendling with Global Medical News Network.